What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Music Production News on the WNN Network. And I'm your anchor, Weaver Beats. Let's go! Our first story of the night, Kilo Hearts updated their entire ecosystem to version 2.0. It's a free update for all users, including new modulators for all Snap-in hosts. The modulators include Curve, LFO Table, Remap, Sample and Hold, Audio Follower, and Pitch Track. They incorporated the Phase Plant modulation system to multipass and snap heap dramatically increasing the possibilities for our dynamic modular effect creation. There were improvements to the functionality, the graphical user interface, and optimization of phase plant, multipass, and snap heap. These include MPE support, improved visualization of modulation connections, external automation for any parameter, modulator effect groups, and much more. There's quite a bit more factory content included now. They also made phase plant $99 until June 13th in order to celebrate this. It's honestly really impressive that this was a free upgrade. In fact, most companies probably would have charged for this, and a lot of people probably would have paid for this. Don't tell them that, though. This definitely brought Phase Plant even further ahead to the front line than they already were for me. Pretty much any limitation this synth had has been completely erased. News! Our next story is an interesting analog-sounding console plugin emulation thing. Lifeline Audio, a name I've never really heard of before, put out a new console plugin that promises analog emulation in the form of a console plugin. Did I mention it's a plugin? Offering the sound of sought-after hardware in analog formats, there are 5 effect modules, 15 unique algorithms, a modular workflow, and zero latency. Each of the plugin's 5 modules bring a particular vintage flavor to your signal chain. There's a preamp, an EQ, a compressor, modulation, and wear. I'm going to show how it sounds really quickly, because I can at least demo this one, as opposed to- I feel like face plants going to be harder to demo. Sounds pretty good, definitely a bit noisy, but well, that's actually pretty typical of hardware as well as hardware emulations. But it does actually sound legit to me, and hopefully you have the option to turn down the noise or adjust it to a certain level if you'd like to. There's a free trial, it starts at $29 for the light version and $49 for the full version. News? Audient announced a new Evo 16 interface to their audience. Building on the success of Evo 4 and Evo 8, there are other interfaces. We wanted to supersize the Evo concept, says Audient Marketing Director Andy Allen. Evo 16 offers an intuitive user experience, professional sound, and technical quality you'd expect from our parent company, Audient. Play more ins and outs than its smaller counterparts, while still keeping it in the affordable audio interface category. It's designed to sit on your desktop or within a rack. It includes a full color screen, allowing it to have a one knob control system and to give you indicators depending on the color. Audient claims it's comparable to using a smart device and you will not be doing any deep menu diving. It comes with 8 EVO preamps, offer 58 decibels of mic gain, while the converters give you 121 decibels of dynamic range. It has expansion potential, meaning it's aided by the inclusion of optical I.O. You can add up to 16 extra channels of mic preamps via ADAT or SPDIF. The EVO 16 is expected to ship in the second quarter of 2022 and has a price of $499. In other news, Billy Eilis and Phineas revealed to David Letterman just how many vocal takes go into them making a song. If it's anything less than 100, I'm gonna be not shocked. Write down your answers at home, guys. Write them in the comments. We need those comments. The answer is 87. Trees. I mean keys. Novation releases its first 88 key keyboard. That's a lot of keys. It's a semi-weighted keyboard that promises to be Novation's best feeling key mechanism to date, which is said to be the result of meticulous refinement and testing. Other features include 16 velocity sensitive pads, an arpeggiator, a scale mode, and three chord modes to help you trigger complex chords with a single finger. If for some reason you have 88 keys and still don't know how to play complex chords yourself. Personally, 88 keys seems like a bit much to me, but I could see it being useful for someone wanting to split up instruments on the different ranges on the keyboard. I mean, if it feels better, then that could be good too, right? Maybe you have a full piano player that likes to play an extended range, a very extended range. This might be for him. In our next story, Universal Audio released three new guitar pedals, emulating some of the best vintage guitar amps of all time, including the Dream 65, Ruby 63, and Woodrow 55. Now here's what these three pedals sound like. <laughs> She looks like the lady from Portlandia. I'm gonna butcher this name for sure, so if I do, I'm sorry. 
I will though. I 100% will. Adobe's Kakul Srivastava has been named the new CEO of Splice. I hope they don't go subscription based. Wait a minute. Stick around because there's going to be some free stuff and plug-in bundle deals at the end of the video. In our last actual story of the night, UVI adds a subscription model to their products. Unlimited access to all UVI products for $2. Wait, that's, uh, I think that was truncated. It's actually $24. UVI announced the introduction of Sonic Pass, a new subscription service delivering unlimited access to UVI's entire line of 1,000 instruments and effects for $24 per month. Let's see where this next part goes. This isn't replacing their permanent subscriptions though. Oh, thank God, I was about to have a heart attack. I can't do another one of those videos. Who am I kidding, I can. Thankfully, they didn't go the Adobe or Avid route and shoot themselves in the head. Personally, I don't think the problem with subscription services is that big, but I feel like there should be some sort of rent to own sort of thing going on here. I don't think we should just be paying monthly for the rest of our life because instead of doing that, you could buy all the things individually and pay it off eventually at some point. I don't know. There needs to be some sort of credit working towards paying for these things. I feel like they're just trying to milk us as hard as possible now and it's working because people are paying for it. So this is my call to action. I never have a call to action, but stop paying for monthly subscription services. I don't know, at least when it's like a software or something that you can actually buy or should be able to buy. Now we got free shit. Zach Sound releases Sapphire Guitar, a free guitar plugin. I'll be linking that in the description. We got Octoator releases Analog Journey, a free pack of 245 presets for Oberhausen. Holy shit, that website design is bad. I'm sorry, man. Love Oberhausen, I hope the presets are good, but I hate the website design. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oberhausen is one of my favorite synthesizers, so I'm actually excited to check this out. A buddy of mine, Eric the producer, reached 700 subscribers on YouTube, and as a celebration, he decided to give out one of his packs for free. I'll put the code for that in the description if you guys wanna check that out. All right, next up, we got plugin deals. Soundwide is having a massive bundle sale. Uh, you guys may have heard this about this one already. It's been around for a while. You can get $2,000 worth of plugins for $50 from them. Holy shit. shit. Uh, I'll list all the plugins on the screen real quick. Then next we got the Sublab Plus bundle. It contains Sublab as well as Excite Audio's Lifeline as well as Tone Kitchen's Exciting Dusty Trap Sample Pack. Don't know anything about that one. Now this is the one I was most excited about. Sweetwater is having a bunch of sales right now. I need to keep an eye on their sales more often. They're having a bunch of sales on microphones as well as monitor speakers. You can get Atoms, JBLs, the, even the interface I reviewed in the past, SSL2 and 2 Plus are on sale right now. It's like 40 or $50 off. The microphones are really on sale right now though. Uh, they got guitar pedals on sale. A lot of things are on sale here right now. Make sure to check out these deals in the description guys, as well as the free plugins and basically anything I talked about, it'll all be in the description. Uh, I'm your host Weaver Beats. This has been another episode of WNN. Make sure to check out my affiliate links, Patreon, if you want to support the channel, second channel also as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.